What's going on guys? Luck is not a business plan. Today, this happened. I had someone, you can read the comment on the last video. Guy was in landscaping, making 21,000 a year, tried to save up for two years, could not figure out how to start his landscaping business. Now, I know some people who have started a landscaping business. I know someone who started a landscaping business with 2,500 bucks and that's a six figure business. This he went out, he already had a truck. He bought a lamb, a lawnmower. And this is illustrative of the things I'm talking about. You will have this individual. You could check out the comment. His name is blazing bull something, but you know, it's, uh, I should pin the comment because you don't have the intellectual rigor to start a landscaping business, but all of a sudden you are a cryptocurrency genius. I I'm just like, really? Luck, like I'm going to say this, luck is the reason that most of these people got money from crypto. They were at the right place at the right time. It was just luck. It wasn't a financial genius. It wasn't financial insights. It was like, I'm going to buy this cryptocurrency and the market boomed. They just got lucky. Just got lucky as proved by this. Like it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't take a lot to start a landscaping business. It doesn't, you can start on the high end, which would be about 15 to 20,000, or you can start on the low end for about 2000 doesn't take a lot of money to doesn't take a lot of genius. This is, this is a business that you have to be persistent in. But once again, this is proof positive. And once again, the crypto thing is going to come in waves. Like there was a micro crash. Like I said, the crash that recently happened is not going to dissuade anyone from crypto. It's going to take one of those crashes that hurts like, you know, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 crashes. Um, but once again, you know, someone left a comment, like I, I don't believe in financing cars and I'm going to start a car lot. That is fundamentally different than blatantly lying to say you can invest $200,000 and that's going to turn into a hundred thousand dollars. Way, 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 way different. Way, 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 way different. And I am really interested to see once crypto crashes and it's going to crash, what you are going to be able to do to make money since you're investing so much time and energy into cryptocurrency versus like, go back to this case. Um, this person did not have the ability to build a business and he got into crypto essentially. The folks who are making the killer money in crypto, they were good business people. They were good business people. The Winkle Voss twins, they sued Zuckerberg because he stole their ideal. That's where they got their startup money and they didn't even spend, they didn't spend all their money on crypto. They spent a lot of it in crypto because they had a big chunk of cash. But once again, this is proof positive what I'm saying. Like, you know, um, and then I had someone else comment, they make $200,000 a year. Literally, they could set money on fire and they'll be okay. Uh, I'm just sitting there like, once again, my thesis is the same. If you're making average income, if you're lacking that 42% of America making 18,000, and this person, he was part of, close to it at 21,000, if you're making $30,000 a year or less, you just don't have the money to invest in crypto unless you invest so little money because like at 21,000, he didn't have a lot of money. So he got really lucky. He got lucky because I'm just sitting there. It ain't that hard to start a, a landscaping business. It doesn't take that much money and he couldn't do that. But all of a sudden he is a, cryptocurrency juggernaut. He's a genius. Uh, the fourth revolution, you know, all this other stuff is coming, it's coming, it's coming. Remember my video, you get addicted. Like the worst time to 
enter a market is at the top of the market. It's worst time to enter the market. Worst time. And right now the car business is kind of rough. Um, finding out, talking to people, they're, they're paying retail prices at auctions. So maybe this is kind of good for me to push my role back because here's something that you didn't know. The repo man ain't repoing. The repo man, they're everyone that's working with everyone. So the repossessions, uh, the foreclosures, all this stuff is being pushed back. And essentially this is propping up a, a very weak economy. It's crazy what's, what's happening right now. So we have an artificial housing market that is artificially being propped up by the lack of foreclosures and super low interest rates. And the Fed has said they're not going to raise the interest rate in the foreseeable future. So we have that going on. We have super low interest rates. We have all these people who are trying to buy houses and they're pushing because essentially during the Great Recession, there was four million houses for sale. During this time period, there's like one million. And there are more people. So we are experiencing an artificial bubble with housing, with cars, except we're not experiencing. Now, this is funny. Many restaurants are desperate for staff. Many restaurants, food service. Um, so we're in a really strange place with the economy. We're in a very, very strange place. And once again, I'm going to say this. If you bought Bitcoin and then it exploded, you got lucky. You were not a financial genius. And this is why there is nothing that you can do to influence the price of Bitcoin. There ain't nothing you can do. So you is buy and pray and hope it goes up. There's nothing you can do. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, your, your so-called crypto success wasn't really your doing. You're not as smart as you think you are because you couldn't start a landscaping business. You couldn't figure that out. But all of a sudden you are a cryptocurrency genius. Really? Really? And you know, it, it's kind of funny because um, I'm getting all this stuff. This person got into cryptocurrency last year and all of a sudden he's a cryptocurrency. Like once again, don't be the old stripper in the club, man. Do not like I, I'm telling you, I'm trying to warn you that if you invest so much time and effort and money into this, it's going to let you down. It's going to let you down. But once again, hey, do what you want. Enjoy yourself. But this channel is about starting and building businesses. It is not about crypto. And I know that many of the other business channels, uh, especially that talk about investing have jumped all over cryptocurrency because essentially it's hot, it's sexy, but I'm going to stick to my principles. I just don't feel that for the average person that cryptocurrency is a good deal because you don't have enough money unless you can get really lucky, really lucky. Like some people got lucky. I'm like, you're not a financial genius. You couldn't figure out how to start a landscaping business, which is one of the easiest businesses to start. So that, that kind of tells me a lot about your business acumen. And once again, like, like I said, a lot of people who bought crypto got lucky. You're not that smart. And that's one of the things, and this, 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 this is going to piss a bunch of people off and I really don't care. You are not that smart. You are lucky. And sooner or later, your luck's going to run out. Then what you going to do? Then what you going to do? It's going to be funny. It's going to be funny. So have fun. Enjoy your cryptocurrency wealth, stacking up your money, this fourth wave and this adaptation to electric cars and all this. Other, like we will still be driving gas powered cars 20 years from now, 20 years from now, we'll still be driving gas powered cars. OPEC ain't going nowhere. Gas powered cars, you know, uh, many manufacturers are going to start moving to making electric vehicles. But if you do the research on that, China 
is the only country that's producing all these batteries because they don't care about their their environments. You know, producing electric cars is very harsh on the, the environment. That's, that's what's so funny about it. But once again, enjoy your luck, have fun, laugh it up, enjoy your cryptocurrency wealth. And then when it falls, cause see, this is how you understand someone who's a skilled investor. Skilled investors make money in down markets. They don't only make money in up markets. Skilled investors make money in down markets. The big money, like BlackRock did 1.2 billion in a quarter. The, the big money, the real investors, the real players, they make money in down markets. They make money in up markets because they have enough money to do that. So we will see, we will see. And I'm just saying it, all you guys got lucky. And sooner or later, your luck's gonna run out. And it's gonna be real interesting because I got people up in the comments beating their chest like they some kind of cryptocurrency genius. I'm like, really, bro? Really? It's kind of funny. But you couldn't start a landscaping business. One of the simplest businesses to start. Hmm. Very interesting.